The Sinnoh games are some of my favorite out of the Pokemon series. Not only do I think the Pokemon are really cool, but I like many of the characters, including the gym leaders. However, that doesn't stop me from disliking some of their teams, whether they are boring or don't even match up with the overall typing of the gym. So with that statement, you can probably tell that I'm basing each gym leader's team off of the ones that they have in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. By the way, this is all just my opinion, so you guys might think differently for me, and that's totally fine. Anyways, without further ado, it's time to give every gym leader in the Sinnoh region a brand new team. It looks like Game Freak decided to copy and paste Brock's team, add on a Kranidos, and make it Rourke's team. Don't get me wrong, I like Kranidos, but we don't need to see Geodude and Onyx for the 500th time. The easy fix to this situation would be to replace those two Pokemon with a Shield On. I don't understand why Kranidos got included, but my boy Shield On got left out. It adds a bit more of a challenge, as Grass isn't super effective on it. I don't have any major problems with Gardenia's team, as all of her Pokemon are from Generation 4. However, in order to increase the difficulty, her Turtwig would be a Grottle, like it should be. There are some other possible options to give Gardenia, for example, Plant Cloak Wormadam or Snover, but in my opinion, Cherubi, Grottle, and Roserade work just fine. There weren't a crazy amount of fighting type Pokemon introduced in the Sinnoh games. However, there was enough so that Maylene didn't have to utilize a Machoke and Metatite as those Pokemon are from Generation 1 and 3 respectively. Instead, I would add two Pokemon that are pretty common in the region. Those would be Monferno and Krogunk. This works out great, as now all of Maylene's Pokemon are dual types, which adds an interesting twist to the gym battle. Similar to Gardenia, I am giving Maylene a middle stage starter, even though I don't typically do that with gym leaders, but besides Monferno, there's not much else I can add to her squad. Just like Maylene, Crash Awake has one Mon from Sinnoh, while his other two are from separate regions. I mean, come on, we've seen Gyarados enough by this point. As a solution, I would take out Quagsire and Gyarados, and give Crash Awake a Luminion and Gastrodon. Gastrodon is a pretty easy replacement for Quagsire, as they are both water ground types. I know Luminion probably makes the battle easier, so if you did want it to be harder, then I wouldn't be opposed to giving him something like a Bibarel. It seems like every Ghost type user and their mother has to have a Gengar on their team. I'm looking at you, Agatha and Morty. Anyways, I think Rotom would be a really cool team member for Fantina instead of a lame Gengar. You don't see this Pokemon too much throughout the game, especially in Diamond and Pearl, as a Rotom can't be caught until you've obtained the National Dex. The only other possible ghost types to give Fantina are Frostlass, which is being saved for a later gym, Spiritomb, which is used by Cynthia, and Dusk Noir, who seems a bit too strong for the 5th gym leader. There's a few changes that I would make to one of my favorite gym leaders team. First of all, I'm not sure why Byron didn't evolve his Bronzor. We're in the 6th gym now. It's okay to have fully evolved Pokemon. I would then replace Steelix with an Empoleon. Going into this video, I wasn't expecting to implement all three of the starters into different gym leaders teams, but here we are. Lastly, I would keep Bastiodon 
as Byron's ace. I know Shieldon was already used for Rourke's team, but there isn't a wide variety of steel types from Generation 4. Now as I said, this is the 6th gym leader in Sinnoh, so maybe Byron could have 4 Pokemon, in which case, I would also give him a Trash Cloak Wormadam. Candace's team is all over the place. She's got two Pokemon from the same evolution line, one Pokemon from Generation 2, and one Mon that isn't even an Ice type. Candace, what are you doing? In order to fix this abomination of a team, I would evolve her Snover, which would also take out the original Obama Snow. Then, I would give Candace a Glaceon and Mamoswine over Sneasel and Metacham. Finally, you know how I said I was saving Frostlass? Well, this is what that was for. Frostlass would become the ace of the team. The ice typing has a lot of weaknesses, so I think it's good that three of her four team members have a second typing. At last, we've reached the 8th and final gym in the Sinnoh region, and somehow, Volkner's team is even worse than Candace's. He has one Pokemon from Kanto, and not one, but two Pokemon that don't match up with the electric typing. I just don't understand his logic. Anyways, let's wipe out everyone but Luxray, and hand him a Magnezone and Electivire. These are all pretty strong Pokemon, but now the 8th Gym Leader only has 3 team members. The problem is, there's not much else I could add. It's either one of the Rotom forms, even though Fantina already owns a Rotom, or Pachirisu, who is very weak at this stage in the game. So, I guess it's either give Volkner a Pachirisu, that probably wouldn't be a threat, or boost the levels of Magnezone, Electivire, and Luxray, in order to make the final gym battle a real challenge. Well, there you have it. That's how I would modify each gym leader's team from the Sinnoh region. Let me know what you thought about these changes, or what adjustments you would make. I had a lot of fun making this video, so I plan on doing the same thing for Generation 5, which is where things could get interesting. For now though, if you enjoyed, then be sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell to see more. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, deuces!